pressurize. I was in the Marines for 11 years. 28. Transitioning into an environment where there wasn't so much structure. It was basically all upon you. I was brand new to the area, brand new to the university, didn't know anybody here. Being a non-traditional student, it definitely provides that community at first, especially with the Veterans Network, to be able to talk about stuff you don't necessarily understand about school or what's different or what's changed. You learn in scuba diving from the very beginning this buddy check system which is a callback to everything we did in the military. You never were alone, and you learn to trust each other that way. Having a veteran network wherever you go is always a safety net that veterans will always have and non-veterans will never understand. It helps give you a sense of camaraderie that you don't get when you're out of the military. I read a quote, I can't remember who it is or if I'm gonna get it right or not, but it said that the most important thing they learned about diving was how to stay calm. And they've spent the rest of their life trying to bring that back to the surface with them. At peace. <laughs> That's what it's like being underwater is tranquility. You're not gonna find that on dry land dovetails into my degree perfectly. I'm a wildlife biology major, so I get this incredible experience to dive here and learn these species and learn this vegetation and learn this topography and then go back and talk to the professors about it as well. It's underwater hiking. That's all you're doing. It's underwater hiking. I'd have to say it's one of the most incredible experiences that I've had. We start off uh, in the pool. So you can sit down on the side of the pool, put your fins on, put your mask on, and we'll do a controlled seated entry tonight. I've been a dive instructor since 1989. I dove in the military. What drew me to the program is the fact that there were veterans involved and veterans learning how to scuba dive. The men and women that we really need to reach are the students who have come to Texas State. They finished their military service and they're lost. For me personally, Operation Scuba has both that opportunity and purpose. I wouldn't have gone scuba diving in Texas. It's not a thing I would have thought about. I'm one of the, the lucky ones that gets to, that gets to dive here and, and participate in conservation work of this water. Hey, these are people who have been through what I've been through. They know where I'm coming from. I come out feeling a lot calmer and a lot more prepared for everything else that's going on in my life. And then when we try to mix that with environmental stewardship, and that's a really powerful thing. Can you take that service ethos you have and say, I want to protect the environment around me. I want to protect this lake. It's right here on campus. It's a jewel that you might never see if you don't look. Trying to keep it as clean as possible, especially for the glass bottom boats, so that they can have the ultimate experience of being able to see what's going on down there we can provide a service again. We can, we can be needed. It makes you feel like you're a part of your community much more than ever did before. It's made my transition and my experience as a Bobcat a lot better. I want other veterans to have this experience. It's just a tremendous opportunity to get out in nature and to enjoy the lake. If I would have been informed earlier, I would have done it the whole time I was here. <laughs>